Lotus is not Ferrari. It's not McLaren. And it's not Porsche. What it has in common with those companies is that it manufactures cars. Barely. Despite the well-fated glory of seven Formula One constructors world championships, Lotus's struggles with solvency today are real. In the last decade it has seen three CEOs, the creation and collapse of a plan for five redesigned models, and the full year delay of the most promising car it offers to the biggest sports car market on earth, the United States. But we've finally driven that car. The new to the US Ave Aura 400, and it was good. The Ave Aura 400, the 400 is for the horsepower produced by its Toyota sourced supercharged and intercooled 3.5 liter V6, is a genuinely refreshing machine. Wispy, strikingly well made, and communicative, it's a car for people who want to be engaged deeply by what they drive, and that's not something we say about all British sports cars. The Ave Aura 400 builds on the brand's signature attribute, efficiency. And by that we don't mean good fuel economy. We mean the same thing Tony Rudd, former Lotus engineering director, meant when he wrote his infamous 1975 memo that was glowingly approved by founder Colin Chapman. To paraphrase Rudd, the most elegantly effective solution is the one with the least number of parts, effectively deployed. They're words that still bear fruit at Lotus today. Lotus, the smallest company selling cars in this country, manages to squeeze masterful machines for discerning drivers from a tiny factory in Hethel, England, 